Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine, reporting to you from Monterey. This weekend, the California Holstein Association held their annual convention where dairymen and junior breeders gathered for various industry activities. One such activity included a speech contest where 10-year-old Rachel Mancibo gave a wonderful speech on ice cream. Last October at the National FFA convention, a woman from another state asked my dad, so why are those cows so happy out there in California? He told her it was because of the nice weather. But if you ask me, I say it's because of the ice cream. Now I'm happy because I get to eat ice cream. I think our California cows are, ha are happy because they know their milk makes ice cream, and lots of it. California is the nation's leader in ice cream production, and it has been for the last 20 years. According to the Real California Milk website, in 2006, California produced 133 million gallons of ice cream, 21% of the nation's milk supply. So it's easy to see how our happy California girls are responsible for so much of that sweet ice cream goodness. Not only does California lead the way in ice cream production, but our state can also claim many other, uh, other ice cream records. For example, the first Hot Fudge Sundays were introduced in Hollywood, California in 1906. Rocky Road Ice Cream was created in Oakley, California in 1929. Another record comes from Anaheim, California. There, it, in 1985, the biggest ice cream sundae ever constructed was made. It stood 12 feet tall and used 4,667 gallons of ice cream to make. And finally, it was Governor Ronald Reagan who, as president in 1984, declared July National Ice Cream Month and the third Sunday in July National Ice Cream Day. We Californians are not the only ones in on the ice cream action. About 9% of all the milk produced in the United States is used to produce ice cream. And we Americans are the world's number one consumers of ice cream. According to IceCream.com, the U.S. enjoys an average of 48 pints per person every year. This is one area where I can confidently say that I'm above average. I love ice cream and I'm a very good company. Several U.S. presidents enjoyed and shared this frozen treat. James Madison ha had ice cream at his inaugural ball and the milk came straight from his own cows. In my research, I even found out that former pro baseball player Ricky Henderson ate ice cream almost every night. He said he preferred to eat a bowl of vanilla ice cream instead of, the big, of a big meal after his, after his games. I shared this fact with my dad because Ricky Henderson is one of his all-time favorite baseball players. But I still can't convince him to let me eat ice cream every night. I'm going to keep working on it though. Despite all this ice cream love, I did learn that last year ice cream sales and consumption were down. According to an article on the Dairy Hearn Network, consumers are choosing frozen yogurt more often and are also eating different trendy cold desserts such as gelato, Italian ice, smoothies, and other frozen concoctions. Many ice cream chains are trying to, to regain their cool factor by inventing gourmet flavors or putting ice cream in other desserts, such as cupcakes. Some are even coming with crazy ice cream flavors, like pizza and cornola cob. As interesting as this may sound, I think I will stick with the majority of Americans and go with good old fashioned vanilla, which is still the most popular ice cream flavor. And occasionally, if I'm feeling adventurous, I can throw in some mint and chip. So I invite all of you to join me as Ice Cream Ambassador. Let us all raise a cone or a cup this, this year on July 20th in honor of this most worthy dairy product. Or better yet, we can start our celebration early and all have an ice cream at the dairy bar. Thank you. You said it, Rachel. If all youth are as knowledgeable and enthusiastic as ice cream as Rachel is, the future of the dairy industry looks right ahead. For now, let's keep the milk pumping and the ice cream making.
I'm Matthew, CaliforniaAgnet.com.